My name is Nuno Cosmeli. I'm an emergency physician specializing in aeronautic medicine. A uh, flight doctor for around 20 years. Um, in Medlink, I'm one of the top site support doctors. Uh, the sites are very different depending on the work they do and where they are. And you must understand that. You must be prepared. Uh, not only, and I'll give you a particular example, you must understand the local disease. I remember the first time I arrived in Africa, I didn't have too many skills in malaria. I had to learn everything and I learned locally. I learned, the, the, I, I learned on the hard way, you know. There is a baseline that we always follow. The, the, the remote medics, doctors, nurse, paramedics, they need to have a, a, a certain amount of courses. They are mandatory like advanced trauma, advanced cardiac, they are alone. They have our support, obviously. We can give today a good amount of support with telemedicine, with, you know, conference call, all, all this. But, in the end of the day, he's alone. He needs to know how to do some invasive procedures in order to save the life of that person. Bear in mind, most of these sites are at least three hours away from a closed hospital. And uh, he, he needs to know uh, how to deal with these really emergencies, life-threatening situations. Then, they need to prepare, or she needs to prepare, uh, uh, learning about the local endemic disease, uh, chikungunya, malaria, legionnaire disease that now is spreading around, Zika, you know, all of these uh, diseases that are affecting our sites. He needs to know, and especially if he's not a doctor, he might never heard about it before in the school. A nurse or a paramedic, obviously, they are much more focused in other parts of medicine, not this part. And they might struggle a little bit to, to, to deal with this. That is why top site support is so important. It is why we have a bunch of doctors at our alarm center 24 hours a day, very skilled on these, all these diseases. Medlin was very intelligent the way he created because he created a very comprehensive supported services where the medic uh, can have not only top side, not only medical advice, a chain of supply that ensure the medic that will get the drugs and the disposables that he needs according to the list previously done and also uh, an air ambulance. He knows that something goes wrong, we will fly and we will retrieve the patient from his hands. And this is very reassuring when you are in very remote area with 300 people that you must take care of it with very little, limited resources. And then of the day, a remote site has very limited resources. Medilink has a very strategic position. Being in the center of the Mediterranean is very close to most of these sites. Bear in mind, bear in mind that Medilink worked uh, always permanently for 20 years in the north of Africa. Even during the war in, in, in Libya, they never left. Uh, they have the clinic, uh, like in Algeria. And what Medilink did, in my opinion, was very clever. Instead of putting a medic, a uh, faraway medic, and uh, okay, if you need callers, no, Medlink starts some routes where, the, where they operate. They create a CCMO, that means a country uh, uh, medical officer that we can rely for medic, local medical advice. For example, find out what drugs are available in the country and approved in the country. It's different from Libya to Algeria and to Angola. And, and this creating their own facilities in the country also uh, provide a very good chain of supply with disposables, with oral medication. Um, and in my opinion, uh, that is the way, when you want to have a sustainable uh, operation, that is the way to go.